insurance on that, your phone bill. Absolutely, I know other all things. about those things. And then, wham, a massive 1500 a month rent bill, it's just, you can't do it. Yeah. I mean, healthcare alone now is just so uh, expensive. So, yeah. Well, what, kind, what do you have, like a two or three bedroom, two bedroom house out in Beaverton, or what do you, do you have a home? No, I actually a rent, condo uh, or something? I rent uh, over past 82nd Avenue, Wait, oh. across the freeway. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me get back to you in a minute, sir. Can, oh, actually, can I buy a cigarette since I have a couple, a little bit of change here this man gave me? All right. Well, that's, this is my friend Mike, one of my favorites of all time. He's an artist. He writes, does a lot of... Uh, well, you don't do it all. You can't play guitar with shit. But no, a good guy. He's just one of these people that are out here. I've known him for, what, Mike, three or four years now or something? But... Uh, yeah, um, boy, I'm going to get inside and make a crackling fire. My landlady now uh -huh. is 28, half my age, and she's a fox. So I got to really be a pro when I go into this one-year deal. I hear that. When, she, when we reunited about, she's out of the country on business now. She does quite well. But when she saw me on Southeast Division Street, where I grew up, where we're going to meet a week before Thanksgiving and get going on this whole thing, well, she just ripped, she remembered me and just jumped in my, I mean, just jumped on me. I'm going, who the heck is this? But then I remembered. But she's a floral, thanks, Mark. She's a floral customer of mine, and, and she knows my landscape design work. And so uh, being in Sunset and Town and Country Magazine is part of my resume. Right. But, I mean, she, that, she made the offer. She said, Jeffrey, I, you can't, after catching up, after a year not seeing her, she said, Jeffrey, you're not going to be out here all winter for th th three years in a row, I've got a deal for you. You redesign my front yard, install and maintain it, and that's a year inside at minimum. I got a rehearsal studio coming. I mean, it's really kind of coming together. Yeah, good for you. But I've got to oh, keep yeah, it together, yeah. though. You should see this gal. Oh, my I mean, I really got <laughs> This is my fictional band Violator in my store. All right, Mike. They've been banned yeah. from playing in every city. Yeah, they play music uh, God, shoot, to, shoot to kill order. He's got a, a great uh, a bunch of writing that is really, yeah, I think, good. Better. And I don't just say that. Uh, that should be pub published. And uh, But, yeah. So, Hello, yeah, I, excuse me. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey. I'm just Jeffrey. Dustin's <laughs> hey, pleasure. Yes. Tell her I'm going to be over here. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right, Captain. Todd Thunders. Up. Funny as all Why don't you get a bass guitar and be somebody? <laughs> Good people. Oh, Mike's a dear, dear friend of mine. Harm, I'm just a sweetheart. And a great artist as far as a writer and stuff. Very good. But people look at him and they go, whoa, where's a doozy? Because he is a doozy. People don't want to deal with it. They don't want to look at it. People don't yeah. want to they just turn away, turn a blind eye, and wait for somebody else to take care of the problem, right? Pretty much, I, yeah, That's how all Americans are these days. No one's willing to, to pull up the bootstraps and get uh, to work and get it done and actually solve the problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that one. It's a good insight. But uh, no, I, I mean, I'm just going to, I'm in the second half of my life. I've been through two, to, I got rid of two ex wives. The last one cost me 220K because I did okay being a gardener until my knee blew out. That's when I became a floral designer. I still do garden maintenance, but now I think to be ugly. Uh, but you reinvite yourself, and um, well, I've been to, well, I've been through. I'm buried all my all my old, all of my people, my younger sister. I outlive my AA sponsors. I mean, come on. But I mean, the second half of my life, I'm really gonna get in tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's possible. All I have to oh, do, it's, all I have to I'm do doing is believe it. it. I mean, I might have you a card. Anything you want to. Absolutely. So, what's your goal for 2020? Because I have. I don't know. It'd be a better Catholic, be a better human being. Wow. Be better than I have been. Yeah. To try to uplift more people, just to do what I can to make the world a better place. Well, that's 